What's up guys, it's your boy Pedro Chase and Hendrix out here, also known as Crazy Kind Production, coming to you at Ghana Do Hub, as you can see, it's music studio. I'm your host today, and we're going to talk to Laura and some few guests as well, super excited, we're going to talk about content, creation and management as well, so stick around, it's going to be awesome for you to check out, I hope you learn a few things, because I'm going to learn some things that I haven't known about, content media, is it media or content creative? Whatever, we will discuss about it. So listen, thank you for the space. First of all, to kind of do how Kiss Media Productions is supposed to be here, but I know you're here in spirit, but let's not waste any time. Let's get this video started. Be real. Ah, so what is what now? Okay, let me just. Why are you leaving? Why are you leaving? Okay, I'm just left. Yeah, but I'm already on the business, so. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so we have another special guest here. I'm two business guys over here on the couch. I'm doing introduce yourself before we get. Hello guys, um, it's nice having you. Uh, it's, nice, it's nice having you on your show. Um, crazy kind, you always do the crazy kind of thing. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. yeah, my name is Abdullah Mohammed and uh, owner of Canada Clothing mm. and uh, Canada Hub. Yeah. yeah. So how you guys know each other? So, like, how you? Yeah, sorry, we met when I, I think we were doing. I was buying t-shirts from him at some point, mm. and then we just started exchanging ideas on how best we can grow we sell businesses and I think it kind of took off from there he's done quite a lot of work for me mm -hmm. personally with my other branding stuff mm -hmm. and even with some projects that I work on I always would come to him and be like okay what do you think about this should we do it mm -hmm. how can we do it mm -hmm. you're in that industry so it's important to know your strengths and your, your yeah. weaknesses yeah. so I'm never going to be like hey I know how to do printing yeah. just because I know I do yeah. So I would rather be like, I know a guy that can do your printing. Yeah. Let him come tell you what he yeah. can do. And then it's so much easier. Yeah. Like we have to dedicate some work to yeah. help ease your pressure. Like when in doubt, refer out. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Because yeah. this is supporting the community as well. Right? Yeah. You know you have a social group so you can help each other out in, in, in certain shape and form. Yeah, precisely. And also it just keeps your reputation intact. Yeah, because, because if you have too much on your plate and you can't really perform to the level that they expect you to do because you're just having everything at the same time. Precisely. And things are just falling apart. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so advice before you leave, like to those who are looking out to sell their business and also who are into continuing the career in content media management or content creation strategies or whatever they call it. <laughs> what, what advice would you give to those young kids or aspiring entrepreneurs? I mean, entrepreneurship is something that has been oversold within the past five years mm -hmm. and I think people confuse entrepreneurship with, um, with quite a lot of things mm -hmm. because there is a there is entrepreneurs, then there's business owners, you need to understand what your strengths are. Mm -hmm. There's people that conceptualize, mm -hmm. like I can come up with a flipping brilliant idea for a business but that's as far as it goes. Mm -hmm. So I literally turn people's businesses, people's ideas into businesses because I know how the, the intricacies of it, how it works. Mm. So you need to know your strengths. Mm. Know your strengths and know your weaknesses. Mm. Don't oversell yourself, like I'm saying. And also, if anybody tells you that it's easy, don't get into business with something that you're not passionate about. Mm. Because I can sleep at 4 a.m. doing what I do because I love it. Mm. I always laugh with these guys and I'm like, you know what? I love what I do so much mm -hmm. that I could do it for free, but I realized that they're willing to pay me, so why not? Mm, yeah. <laughs> so, you know, yeah. if something is not your passion, mm. you will always fail. And so it doesn't feel like work to you. Exactly. It doesn't yeah. feel like work because mm. we, I enjoy what I do. And mm. I am willing to sacrifice my time, every, every other small things to push my business, mm. to make sure that it grows, than enjoy the luxuries of okay so we're gonna go because the thing with with entrepreneurship is you'll be exposed to a lot of money quick yeah and the decision now boils down to do i take the money or do i build a reputation yeah. because you can take the money mm. and then be the bowler be the one that's driving the mercedes the bmws <laughs> but then that dies out quite quickly yeah whereas if you build a brand over time you actually notice the more people begin to trust you even if you do jobs in the beginning for small money, but the reputation is what matters. Mm. When the money starts coming in, it comes in. Mm. But those that start off getting money quick, mm. it's always like this. Yep. So you get money first quick, you will go down. Mm. Start with the small money, you, you go, go up. up. Because you're building relationships and you're showing, you, you have the scars. They always say like a knight with, with, a, with an armor that doesn't have scratches or dents has never been to war. Mm. But 
the trueness of a knight is you see his armor is messed up. Mm -hmm. He might look jacked up compared to the next man, mm -hmm. but he's the dude that has the most experience. Mm -hmm. So if you before you start a business, know with anything actually, this is my advice for everybody in life. Mm -hmm. Before you do anything, ask yourself why are you doing it. Mm -hmm. If your why does not outweigh the reason why you should not do it, mm -hmm. then don't do it. Mm -hmm. Because the why is what's going to sustain you in business and in whatever it is that you do. Because yeah. when when you look back and you say, I am in business because I don't want to be doing drugs, I don't want to be pimping drugs, I don't mm -hmm. want to be doing this, then you know why you hustle and you sleep late. But if you don't know your why, mm -hmm. when times get rough, and being an entrepreneur, first five years are rough. Like we are, between me and I've had, I don't know how many companies that I've started and failed, mm -hmm. but out of it all, it's experience. Mm -hmm. And I've learned. Mm -hmm. And also, separate your business from yourself. Mm -hmm. When you make money, it's not your money. Mm -hmm. It's the company's money. Mm -hmm. Pay yourself a salary out of the company. Mm -hmm. Because you need to run the company to sustain it. Mm -hmm. If you get money and then you get a million rand contract, it's not your million, it's the company's. Mm -hmm. You can pay yourself 5,000 rand and you have 1 million. Mm -hmm. People can see me walking in the street and be like, ah, this guy is a company. But you don't realize. Mm -hmm. Play the long game. Mm -hmm. Don't play the short game. So always be knowing the why and know that you're in this for the long haul. Mm -hmm. If you're not passionate about it, don't do it because it's, you're just wasting your time and your age. And before you know it, you'll be a certain age and you've tried out 40 different companies and nothing has come out of it. Yeah. Oh, I'm just uh, <laughs> 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 well, 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 I really appreciate it. It's very insightful. I really appreciate it. But before you leave, I just want to hear up to your side of the story because you've been quiet. Oh yeah, yeah I mean, I'm quiet because I mean, I'm, I've always been a student in life. Mm. I always want to mm. keep quiet, yeah. give give my ears up and, and hear whatever I can hear and make good use of it. But yeah. this whatever whatever he said right now, I think he has yeah. summarized everything. You know, about I'm sure you know, you know your why, why you're starting, and then yeah. you know, the passion you spoke about, mm. and then don't go in for the money, mm. but know your I mean your purpose in life. Yeah. You know, your purpose in life might, might be just you know what. On have this big company and be able to employ a thousand people, you know, mm -hmm. by by doing so, you're actually helping your community mm -hmm. and you're also contributing towards the socio-economic mm -hmm. development of whatever nation you are. You see, yeah. So, um, I mean, that's just what I can say for now. So, so you said like you said you started the building. Um, yeah. Like, how did that start? To Oh, this takes me to take me back <laughs> to like, I don't know, 10 years, but let's just... Yeah, just, let's keep just, it. Like, what's the, what's the name of the business? Ten, just 10 years into like one minute. Um, what's so, the name of the business? And yeah, so, um, so I remember when I was... Okay, I'm actually from Ghana, right? So yeah. um, when I was still a student, um, uh, me and my, my, my cousin decided to, you know what? Let's start selling clothes. So mm -hmm. what we do is we buy from Zara, we buy from Gucci, but mm -hmm. um, those are imported ones, right? Mm -hmm. Sell them, and then we had a small, like a showcase, aluminium showcase, where we can just sell this or um, those items. So with time, while we were doing those, I was like, ah, why, why should we be selling, pushing these big brands? And we can have our own brand. I mean, locally manufactured brand. Yeah. That was in Ghana. And in yeah. Ghana, there's nothing like a production company, in this, right? Mm -hmm. So there was nothing like a production company and I was like, you know what, how do I get this thing done? And then through my brainstorming and stuff, I was like, you know what, I need to leave Ghana mm -hmm. and exploit, uh, exploit other countries. So I decided to come to South Africa for holidays. Mm -hmm. um, I spent like nine days in, in Johannesburg and three days in Cape Town. So through my three days of searching and scouting, I found this t-shirt manufacturing company. So I went back home to Ghana and I'm mm -hmm. like, if I finish my college, I would come here to see for employment, and that's exactly what happened. Mm -hmm. When and then came back, and then I got uh, a first job there, mm -hmm. and I just observed how everything is done from manufacturing to packaging to printing. I was like, you know what? One day I want to start my own mm -hmm. thing. Since I, I promised myself, okay, you know yeah. what? One day I want to have one of the biggest manufacturing plants in Ghana. So um, I worked there for three years, and I was like, you know what? This is time for me to actually um, going for the dream, the mm. bigger dream. So what I realized was this company doesn't sell the small the small fish. 
mm. it only deals with the big, big fish big fishes yeah so i just found a niche there you understand i'm like okay if their minimum is 50 and then these small fishes can only afford them why don't i also mm. make good use of these people yeah. so i left the company set up my own for <laughs> these people on mm. board and then I was um, servicing them with whatever quantity they can mm. and uh, this is where we are oh, today we, we, we sell over under over 200 local brands mm. as I'm talking about it yeah. so if people want to get in touch with you we can get um, for like mostly time. people uh, I mean I get, I get recommendation via whatsapp and uh, I'm going to call it referral via yeah. our own I mean, existing company mm. There is they refer us to other people, but mostly people contact me on WhatsApp, mm. which is uh, uh yeah, like you, like you are <laughs> <laughs> <I'm sure today. laughs> oh, And then also um people can find us on Instagram and Facebook. Yeah, yeah. actually that's where. where so what's the hashtag? What's the tag that you need to find? You like where you have it? Ghana do clothing. Uh -huh. Yeah, you can find us on Facebook, Ghana do clothing, Instagram, Ghana do clothing. Okay. Twitter, Ghana do clothing, but we don't tweet much. Yeah. <laughs> Do you, you have only businesses in Cape Town? Do you have in Ghana as well? Um, like so it? what happened was during the course of uh, Ghana Dude, mm -hmm. um, how do you call it? Um, when, while I was still nurturing Ghana Dude, mm -hmm. an idea came to mind during 2016, mm -hmm. which was from a movie called um, Straight From Compton. I think it's an American movie. Yeah. <laughs> so I was like, ah, Straight From Compton? Why don't I use the way? The word straight, you know. So I just took the name straight, uh -huh. and then I created a brand called Straight Way. Uh -huh. And then um, from there, I managed to create a, uh, a clothing brand separately called mm -hmm. Straight Way, and it's happening actually in Ghana. Wow! As I'm talking to you. So, so I can come for you for an advice to help establish crazy kind. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's cool. Yeah. yeah. Guys, let's end this over here. Oh, <laughs> I'll do yeah. Trey. Laura, Hello. <laughs> I really appreciate you guys coming on the show, especially those in the behind the scenes as well. Mm -hmm. You guys, when you come into the shot again, just do like show face again. <laughs> before, we, before we end, do you have any social media handles that you want to be like saying to your fans, like yo? <laughs> yo, shout out, guys! <laughs> okay. right, yeah, nothing much. Alright, Trey, like your skin to the handle and so people can get in touch with you. Yo, um, we're pretty much Red Digital ZA on okay. most platforms. Yeah. Um, we we not on Twitter, mm. but we are on uh, Facebook uh, and your Instagram, and we on our website pretty yeah. much. So it's just Red Digital. Okay. Yeah. 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 How do you like Um. I mean. Anyway. Can so I I'm like so trying to Anyways, so yes, yeah, so you can find me on my website. It's going to be elauraharkismedia.com um, or my Instagram. It's elaura96. Um, and if there's any question on spelling, he can put it in yeah. the description <laughs> on the video. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Right there. Yeah. Link my website. Would you be guys shameless plug? Would you be keen to collaborate with anyone that misses you? Or yeah. strictly business, no yeah. one can like collaborate. I mean, I'm open to collaborations, it just depends okay. on what, you, what you're wanting. So, yeah. I, mean, I, I can see you guys doing something. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, he's, he's established, he doesn't need me. <laughs> I, mean, you can't. I need him, so. <laughs> no, you, we'll see, we'll see. you can take him to Global, like California and stuff like that. You can be like, oh, Possibly, sure. yeah. Well, like, I, have some, I have some people here in California that need some assistance. I do, I have two clients to be that. So yeah, yeah, and then I'm gonna we I'm gonna address I'm gonna okay. address you guys you know, from Ghana to Ghana to Ghana. You see, yeah. 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 So this is the whole point of the show to help build network, network, build relationships, and just get people to get into contact with one another. This is the whole building the community in South Africa, or well, even beyond that. As far as you can see here with Elora for California, and, and this is what the show is all about. So that new friends, new relationships. I'm repeating myself here, but that's the essence <laughs> of the show, and hopefully, you like. You guys can cross paths again, or even starting from the day, like something can happen, you know, because like what <laughs> Trey, <sorry, laughs> Trey, like Trey said earlier on, you know, relationship is important, and in the long run, you never know how we can help each other, you know, and that's that's the whole problem. Yeah. So, guys, thank you so much for watching, and yeah, as you heard from the social media handles, if you want to get in touch with him, do what you need to do, go into the socials website, Facebook, wherever they are, um, link, 
kind of description and yeah thank you guys from the background as well you guys you've been amazing i really appreciate you first part of the, <laughs> the video was great <laughs> and yeah stay tuned and hope you guys have a safe 2021 going forward and yeah stay safe stay groovy and all the best going forward peace out we love you <laughs>